Hey VC, I uh, hope everybody had a happy new year. This is Will and I'm back with a non-vinyl related update. Uh, yesterday actually instead of going to the record store I went to the library out of all places. Uh, I go to a library often, usually to, usually to pick up some uh, books or some DVDs, but uh, every once in a while I'll go to pick up some or to borrow some CDs, um, especially on rainy days like uh, the one that we had uh, in this weekend in Atlanta has been raining almost all, all weekend. And what I try to do if I know if it's going to rain, I try to go to the library, pick up a bunch of CDs and then just listen to them uh, the whole day. Uh, it's also a great way to uh, discover new bands for basically for free and uh, also to listen to albums of bands that uh, you like but uh, you haven't listened to that album in particular so uh, it's just a great way of discovering new music in general uh, uh, so i picked up six cds in my library run yesterday and i'm gonna show them to you the very first one is uh, johnny cash get it out of the case but this is uh, johnny cash's uh, american five a hundred highways and this one was released in 2006 by American Recordings and produced by Rick Rubin. And um, a very good album, a very, uh, very, very good album by Johnny Cash, um, released after his death uh, in 2006. And uh, it's very similar to American 4. Uh, I did have American 4 in MP3, and it's a very similar album. A lot of uh, acoustic gu guitar songs, very mellow, a lot of uh, s uh, slower songs. Some original songs, some uh, cover songs that are very good uh, in the style of Johnny Cash. I really enjoy listening to the, uh, the song called Like the 309, which is a song that he sings about his own death, uh, which is a very hard topic to hear him sing, but it's a, a terrifically written song, original by Johnny Cash. So a very good album, very similar to American 4, Johnny Cash, uh, American 5. Next, I got also a classic, uh, The Beatles, Revolver. Now, I've listened to a lot of The Beatles in the past. I do love The Beatles. That's something that I grew up listening to. My, uh, my parents were uh, or are big Beatles fans. Uh, so that's something that I grew up listening to in my ha household. But Revolver wasn't an album that my parents really had, and I never ha got a chance of listening to the whole album front to back before. So um, uh, it was very refreshing to listen to the whole album uh, from beginning to the end and, and watching, all, um, uh, watching all the artwork as well. Uh, excellent album. It's uh, definitely definitely not an, an overrated album. A terrific album by the Beatles. Uh, this one was released in 1966 on Parlophone Records, and I really enjoy listening to the very first song. That's my favorite of the album. It's called Taxman, and uh, written by uh, the one and only George Harrison. Uh, but anyways, that's the the Beatles Revolver. Great album. Next. It's a band that I have listened to in the past. I just have listened. I haven't listened to this album in particular, and um, I'm talking about the Black Keys. This is El Camino from 2011 from uh, Non Such Records, and the album that I listened to uh, from this band before is called Brothers, and I did like, but I thought it was a little bit hit or hit or miss. I did like like some songs, and some of them were just okay. Um, this made me change my mind about the Black Keys. Black Keys. I l absolutely loved, loved, loved this album. It's fantastic. I'm seriously considering buying this one on vinyl. I'm probably gonna buy it next time I go to a record store if I find it. But this album is just amazing. A lot of great songs. Uh, very good garage rock album. Uh, there's no bad song in this album. I loved all of them. And um, like, like I said, I'm going to buy this one on vinyl next time I go to a record store. I absolutely recommend it. Uh, next is Paramore. This is the self-titled album by Paramore. The, I think it's their, their latest album. This one was released in 2013 uh, by Fueled by Ramen Records. And I gotta admit, uh, I did not like this album. I, I did not enjoy it at all. Um, I was very curious about this band because I've seen them everywhere. They've been everywhere online and in record stores. I just never got the chance of actually listening to them. Uh, but uh, like I said, I did not like it. I thought it was very formulaic, uh, very repetitive, um, and very long as well. I think they had almost like 17 songs in this album. Uh, I must, I'll give it to them that they did have some good songs in there, like uh, Now and and uh, Ain't It Fun and Part 2. There were a handful of good songs, but overall I did not enjoy listening to this album. Now any Paramore fans out there, if you want to recommend me a better album by them, please feel free to do so. Uh, just uh, put them in the comments and I'll, I'll check them out. I'll give them another chance, but so far I'm not going to be listening to very much Paramore in the near future. Uh, next 
is Katy Perry, MTV Unplugged. This might sound a little bit cheesy. Uh, I never thought I would be picking up a Katy Perry album, but I was extremely surprised about this album. I think it's uh, Katy Perry is a very um, uh, underrated artist as an as an artist herself. I know a lot of people know of her as, as the pop pop artist or the pop singer, but she's a terrifically uh, a terrific uh, guitar player and a very good singer and a very good songwriter as well. And it was just very refreshing to listen to her and um, just without all the auto tune with all the electronic beats and all that poppy stuff just her uh, her guitar and her acoustic uh, band that's all very good band very good album a lot of great songs this one was released in 2009 by Capitol Records uh, only seven songs but all of them were very good I was in particular very impressed by the uh, third song in the album that is called Hackensack it's, which is a cover song by the, um, the Fountains of Wayne I believe but a very good album, it was very, like I said, very refreshing to listen to her just acoustically and live. Uh, very, very good album, recommend it. And finally, this is the last album that I got, it's The Foo Fighters, The Color and The Shape. This is their second album, uh, released originally in 1997. This is the 2007 reissue, uh, the deluxe reissue on Legacy Records. And I have ha I had this album in the past, but I think I sold it, or either I sold it or I lost it in one of my moves. And this is an album that I really liked. I knew that I liked. I just wanted to listen to it again. And also, this is uh, this, since this is the deluxe version of the album. It comes with some the all the B sides from the uh, from the album. Uh, that I, I gotta say, I wanted I was curious about the B sides, but I, I I could see why they didn't include it in the album. Most of of them weren't very good, especially the one uh, the number seventeen, uh, the cover song of Baker Street. I did not like that cover song at all. <laughs> there was one of them that was very good. Uh, it's number nineteen. The color uh, is titled "The Color of the Shape," the same as the album. And I was surprised to see that they didn't include that album in the uh, that song in the album because it was a very good song. Uh, but uh, overall, a great album by the Foo Fighters. This is one of I think it's my favorite from the Foo Fighters. Uh, my favorite song here has got to be uh, Monkey Ranch and My Hero. Two great songs and an absolutely fantastic album. And the packaging was very good too. It's one of those DG packs uh, with uh, a little booklet and uh, the CD inside. And it didn't come with a and, and with a DVD or anything, but it's a nice little package. And those those are all, all the albums that I got here at the library. I know it's a very strange place to be digging for um, for for CDs or for music, but I, that's one of the things that I, I like to do. And I wanted to close this uh, video up with just uh, sharing the question of the day, like usual. And the question is, uh, I was just curious to see if the VC members do something similar. But my question is, uh, do you still do you have a library card? And if you have a library card, do you use it? Do you sh you guys go to the library to get uh, books? or get CDs or DVDs. I'm just curious to see if the, the other VC members do this, something similar to what I do. Uh, but anyways, that's all what I had for the, that I had for you today. Um, I hope everybody is having a good day. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know if you have any questions about the albums that I just showed you. Feel free to put in some comments here in, uh, in the comment section. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day, VC. Bye.